a sight unseen in Afghanistan just 10 years ago. Hundreds of girls crowd the alleyways of Kabul on their way to school. It's a right they did not have under the Taliban. Zamina Samadi, the principal of Totia High School, remembers when she had to risk her life to tutor girls in secret. But things have certainly changed since the U.S.-led invasion in 2001. I've been principal of this school for a total of nine years. Girls attending my school come to study with high spirits. Oxfam reports that almost three million girls are now enrolled in school. The Afghan parliament has one of the world's highest representations of women, thanks to a 28% quota. But with the war far from won, the shadow of the Taliban still looms. I was a victim of a many times Taliban attack. Um, they tried to um, shoot on our cars and convoys and my people were, my security people were injured. Fauzia Kufi has made the most out of her newfound freedom, emerging as one of the most outspoken voices in Afghanistan's parliament. But as the government eyes negotiations with the Taliban, she is worried that her rights could be traded in for peace. I'm not scared for being killed or um, assassinated. I'm scared to live in a situation that I'm alive but I'm still dead because my voice is not anywhere, my voice doesn't go anywhere. So I'm scared for that and that's why I'm scared of being a, a woman with no rule. I'm scared of being a woman with no voice. A peace deal with the Taliban is still a distant prospect, but the government is facing increasing pressure as foreign combat troops prepare to leave in 2014. But advocates say women's rights must not be up for negotiation. Uh, whenever there is a talk about the deal, there need to be strong Afghan women represented on the table. The Taliban need to be shown that Afghanistan is a different place now. But can Afghanistan maintain this momentum of change for its women? Many are now concerned about what the coming 10 years will bring for their country.